Hello! Or oh, sorry. <clears throat> hey guys! Slater here. Today, I am back on the Nautica of Subs, or the Subnautica, um, Project Aquatic High Resolution, uh, episode 17. We are live, I believe. It looks like we are, yes. Hello? Testing. Everything's very loud for me. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Let me know if the levels are good. Please let me know. I'm typing this in chat. If the audio levels ever sound off. My mic is too loud or game too quiet or vice versa. You do. I do? Ethan, I should tell you. I have met your father. Oh, yes, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I haven't I haven't really spoken to you since that happened, so I haven't really had a chance, but yes. Ah. Ah, so he's still figuring out his chair. Ethan's having chair. I'm having mic issues. Ethan's having chair issues. It's just. All around, it's just issues. It's a shame. It's pretty neat. <laughs> I'm watching, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, okay, sorry. Well, I do have headphone issues, yeah. I mean, headphone issues are just always a problem. Um, so today, uh, if you've watched the last couple episodes, we've done a lot. Mainly through the prawn suit, we now have farms and stuff. I did that three-hour stream a couple episodes back, and that was pretty nuts. So, I don't see that happening again today. Don't get your hopes up. But an episode for like 60, 70, maybe 80 minutes. We'll see. Uh, I do have to head out around 2.30ish. It's 1 o'clock right now, so I got some time. But um, just I'm not out forever, but I do have to head out. So... I'm going just over here. Just went live. Taking a moment to message Braden. He wanted me to... Well, he didn't really want me to let him know, but... He was wondering if I was streaming, because I was telling him yesterday I was going to stream Subnautica. Why did I get these achievements? Oh, it's because I joined their game. I see. Anyway, today my plan is mainly just to do some more exploring stuff. I don't have much on my plate right now that I really want to get done. Um, there's no like immediate quest or anything that I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, hey, I'm a little late. Mixer never tells me when you're streaming. I'm four minutes, four minutes in. That's why I messaged you. I just, you know, because I know you were curious on when I was going live, so I thought I'd message you. Um, yeah, Mixer, Mixer doesn't tell people things, it's fine. It's still loading, four minutes into the stream. This game takes forever. That's why most of the time when I go to do the episode, I would just click start, then go run and grab water, then come back, st boot up my laptop, then start my stream. <laughs> And then I'd still have like a minute to do my intro. Typically. Um, yeah, game takes forever to boot up. 
It's kind of insane. Makes Minecraft look good. I have a question. When did you say they were going to release the Nether update? I'm excited for the realm. Um, Nether update, supposedly, it's supposed to come out before the end of June. So before the halfway mark of 2020. That's what they said. It was supposed to be rela released in the first half of 2020. However, they've said a lot of different release dates. And I don't know. I think, realistically, it's probably going to be at the end of June. Or July. <laughs> um... That being said, though, it is pumping out pretty quickly. Stuff's coming out, and they did keep their word with the B update, and, and I think they did pretty good with the Village and Pillage. I don't, though, I think that was pushed back a little bit, but... Um, it's probably going to be delayed. It depends on how much they put into it, as well. I mean, if they just release the update as is now, I don't think it would be... huge. I wish they did a little bit more, but... I want to see some kind of big update with the, the combat with this stuff as well. The new armor isn't enough. It doesn't change it. Although I do think the new weapons and tools that Braden... Oh, I know everyone's talking about, like, every update they've added a new weapon or whatever. The netherite stuff is pretty much covering that. I don't think they need to add anything else on top of it. Although it'd be cool. So, we're here. I have the scanner room here. What was I doing? I was looking for something with these last time. I can't remember. I remember being inspired before I got off. I was like, oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do next time. I'm like, but I've also been here for an hour and a half, so I'm going to hop off and come back and do this later. And now I forget exactly what it was. So there was something important, I'm sure. And I don't remember. Uh, we were messing around with this thing, right? Was that my last episode? It's inactive now. Okay, so let's go boot that up again. And I moved... Wait... I moved this up here, right, didn't I? I did! Man, I'm smart. Oh, it's not done yet, though. Shame. Okay. I moved this up here, which was cool. And we have the bioreactor now, which is also cool. And we have this water filtration machine, which is making me water. Like, like it's about to right now. Any second. There it goes. Something about a bunch of something, right? Or did I miss an episode? Uh, depends on what was your last episode. I don't know if you were here for the last one. I can't remember. Anyway, these large filtered waters are amazing because they do 50 water per. Which is pretty, pretty nutty. Um, pretty awesome. I haven't done anything. It's been a couple days since I've streamed. And that's just because I got busy. But it happens. There was also Seamoth Solo Charger. This seems important, um, but also kind of useless. I hate to say that. It doesn't seem terribly useful because most of the time, when you're in the Seamoth, you're going to be underwater, <laughs> not up on the surface. I, I feel like it could be useful if I'm like really far out, but can't say that's a problem I'm facing right now. Uh, what was the thing I was looking for, though? Advanced wiring kit. How expensive is that? Ah. Yeah. Two silver, two gold, and whatever computer chip needs. Yeah, that's... Just a little complicated. It's not super expensive, but... It's a little complicated. I don't know. I don't know if it's really worth it. Another thing was these fins, which I don't know how to get polyine, or polyane, or whatever that is. Not entirely sure what that even is. I don't know if I... I guess I can't open it and look on what exactly it is. Do I have it unlocked in here? Benzine, synthetic fibers, and aerogel. No, I do not. Okay. I, I now... I recently learned, too, that, like, the advanced materials right here... Like, this is a new thing. A new tab that I just unlocked a couple episodes ago. And I picked up on that. I was like, so tabs can just sort of appear... When I pick up an item that relates to it. I just want Andy's slow ass to hurry up so we can rock some Stardew. Yeah. I, honestly, man, you got me hooked. Last night, after we got off, I was Googling shit to figure it, help me figure some stuff out. So yeah, you definitely got me hooked on that game. You, congratulations. You did it again. Fuckers. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. And it's a chill game. I'd totally stream it if I had... Uh, I think if we do another run, if we were to restart, 
I'd stream it. I don't want to restart that one. I, I want to help learn a little bit more before I go in and try and do a walkthrough of it. But if I did a walkthrough of Stardew, definitely would not want to do that alone. It's one of those I think it'd be better with some people. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> like Stardew it? Like do it. Yeah. Also, we have a coffee machine. I can make two coffees at once. Look at that efficiency. Now now we just wait. We w It's spilling out. There's no cup, but it's okay. There's going to be cups. Just watch. It's going to be amazing. Watch. Yeah. Look at those. Coffee completed. I love that little voice. It's so cute. All right. There we go. And it only does four water, so it's not really efficient, but they're fun. It's okay. We, we love them. So I still don't know what Magnite is. Um, and nickel. Those seem to be the two ores that I do not have at the moment. What I'm gonna do this episode, uh, I know one thing. Oh, now I remember. I was thinking of doing some kind of animal farm or something up here for the bioreactor, and also to possibly, I don't know if breeding peepers is a possibility, but just to try and like figure out what exactly is possible um, without. I, I want to try not to Google anything. I imagine it's one of those animal habitats and I have to put the fish in there or maybe that's what the eggs are used for. I don't know. I, I'm going to experiment and figure it out. I also uh, Googled that the bioreactor is one of the more efficient forms of electricity in the game. And it's only really useful like late game. So it's good, but I only have one of them right now. So it's not going to be terribly good for me. Because, it, again, it's only one, but... You probably did miss last episode. I did a lot. I'm gonna be honest. I did a lot last episode. Um, power is steady, but it is day right now. So my power should... Honestly, my power should just be skyrocketing right now. But it's not. So, something's up about that. I think I need more power. Apparently, solar is important. Uh, what did I do? So, last Welcome episode, I did some exploring. It was a shorter episode. It was an hour. It was an hour episode. I guess that's a typical one, right? Uh, I did some exploring around the place, and I went to Life Pod Two, which is a thing that I found. Uh, it's fine. And basically, I I went to Life Pod Two, and they didn't really have much, I'll be honest. Um, but I learned that I can punch things in the face with the prawn suit and it scares them away. That's important. <laughs> That's probably... And then I, 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 I was like, wow, water filtration system. I also made the battery charger. I believe that was last episode. I made this thing, which is awesome. I think maybe I unlocked this from the, the, uh, the place. I can't remember now. Let's... We just hmm I don't think so it was last episode but I mean you kind of do stuff like that every episode yeah I mean I made the battery charger and then I moved I did do some base adjustments mainly moving the observatory up here so that it was close to my bioreactor so that I could easily get crops out of it and put them right into the bioreactor rather than walking all across my base to do it. I was also talking about the idea of possibly moving. Not far, but just deeper. Because the issue is it's hard to... Uh, it's hard to build stuff where I am. That's the issue. So, I, it was a thing I was talking about. I don't think I'm going to do that today, but it is a thing I was thinking about doing. I'm gonna bring this with us and then also I was mucking around with some of the storages on some of the different things and I learned that if you put more storage slots on the prawn suit it just makes this storage bigger but if you put more storages on the sea moth uh, it just adds more storages on different sides of it and they're all the same side so I don't know why that's a thing I feel like it should just do the same with the sea moth it's probably because the prawn suit can actually collect items when the sea moth is like you have to manually put it in. I imagine that's a reason, but... Yeah. So, we're gonna head out with the sea moth here. Do I have a... I do have a storage on it. Kinda wanna look around for some wrecks. 
That's the idea. If I head to the cannon island. Also, I still love how you can just see the light from my old Seamoth out there. Love that. Okay. I want to head to the cannon island. Can you name your Seamoth? Oh, I haven't done that yet. I can, though. Uh, here. I don't know what I want to name it. If you guys want to help me with that. Let me move the prawn suit. I only have one, like, naming station or whatever, so... So my prawn suit... Nope. My prawn suit is called Robot Downey Jr. And that's... Yeah. And uh, I don't know what we're going to call the sea moth. Probably, like... I don't know. Maybe like Lightning McQueen or something. Did you beach the old moth? I did. Yeah. I beached the other moth and uh, it's stuck. Uh, actually, the beach swallowed it. Gotta call it eat my meat. Okay, I'm down. Eat my meat. Can I... Add another storage. Oh, uh, yeah, I know, I know. You can add more storages, but the thing is, is like, it just it throws it on another side, and I'm like, yeah, I'll do it at some point. What color should I make it? Should there be a specific color, or I don't know. I don't care. You let me know. I have the other one red. Maybe a blue would be good. But. Just kind of make it different, right? Oh, yeah, and I can change the nameplate too. Leave that black. Blood red. Oh, like make it darker? Like that? Okay, and then the stripe, maybe black, like that, okay, I'm down. The blood of its enemies, I don't know man, I feel like the sea moth just kind of gets wrecked. And I, I, I know there's certain things that you can stack too, so like, oh, game. Okay. So like if I have more hall enforcements. I'm assuming it makes it stronger, which is, I know is good, especially in the sea moth, because this thing is like destroyed instantaneously. As soon as it's made, it's like gone. Okay, there we go. It's been done. Let me head to the cannon island though. I'm curious if there's some kind of. I just want to go beyond it. Happened to my bud. Beach moth came back to retrieve with prod, with propulsion cannon. Was underground and not retrievable. You know what though? I didn't try the repulsion cannon. That would be a good idea. But yeah. I I accidentally beached it. And then I couldn't drive it out. And I was like, I'll just come back and get it. Oh, I didn't even beach it, I don't think. I like parked it next to the beach. And then I... Uh, when I went back, it was like a one with the beach. I don't know what happened. It was <laughs> suddenly inside of it. Um, Wait, did you have the... Yeah, I have the propulsion cannon. Not on me, but I do have it. So, by the way, what I do want to let you know is that I don't do spoilers. If you're new to my series, I'd rather you not spoil stuff for me. Certain questions when it comes to, like, game mechanics, uh, I may ask, and I may want to know. But there's certain things, like, for example, I don't know where Magnite is, I don't know where Nickel is. Don't tell me what it is. I know it, I'm assuming they're ores or gems or something. But don't tell me where to find it, what to do with it, stuff like that. And especially don't spoil story stuff. Because I'm very curious about that. I, I, I feel like that's you know, my first time playing the game. So. I'm, I'm sure I'm doing stuff wrong, but... We'll see. Have it on you at all times. Why? Why do I need to have it on me at all times? It's cool, yeah, but it takes up a lot of storage. It's cool. Yeah, sure. 
few of the meat. Also, location of switch combined Mr. Penna. Yeah, uh, I got that. But I also know it's, uh, again, it's different compartments. I don't know, I find that weird. I think the prawn suit is a little bit more fluent. What's this thing? Oh, that's a tower. Got it. Okay, I want to go out beyond it. I haven't, nope. I haven't been out this way yet. Probably going to be the death of me, but... You know, it's whatever. I don't know if there is anything out here, right? I, I haven't been out this far. I love how you can just clearly see, like, where it's going to be rendering. and I, I really don't... I find the rendering in this game to be really janky. Like... And it's gone. Oh, it's just weird. Whoa. Freeder Edge. Uh. Okay. Dive down. Yeah, let's not do that. That's, uh. I'm assuming that is death down there, right? Yeah, that's death. Okay. Fun times. You're in void, dangerous. Well, I'm not in void right now, but yeah. I'm safe where I am. Just dive. What's this? Fun place there. I haven't been down here. A lot of peepers down here. Okay, why is that one glowing? Give me the peeper. Give me the glowing peeper. Peeper. No, it's just a regular peeper. Oh. 15 second delay. Got it. I see. So the crater edge, that's like the edge of the map, right? I'm assuming. And it just smites me with something if I go out there. Scan. I think I've scanned these, haven't I? Oh, I have, but that was the time when I lost everything. Cave bush. Nothing scary in the void. No, totally. That would be stupid if there was scary stuff in the void. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Brayden. I can always count on you. Generally, when Brayden says something's going to be fun, I know not to do it. Uh, it's kind of my tell. I'm like, oh, brain sets it's fun? It, it, that means it's gonna kill me. Oh, scan the peeper. Right. I'm just curious why it was glowing. I don't, I, I'll, I'll, next time I... Because I've seen a couple of them now. Next time I see it, I'll try and scan it instead of picking it up. Okay. I know some of you experience delays and some of you don't. Like, uh, depending on where you are or what your setting is. I know, like, Ethan, I know you were telling me you have, like, a three-second delay. It is, like, Traeria. I picked up a coin. Ah. Ah. Wow, one second. Nice. Okay. Well, what's in between? Okay, I know there's a Leviathan around here somewhere. So, want to be careful about that, but... The Over 27 is forcing their viewers to watch this train wreck instead. Thanks, Brayden. Yes, I kind of always need these, right? Only if you already. The game's not randomly generated, no. 
I think ores and stuff randomly generate, but not, uh, not, not the train. It's not randomly generated, not this game. And because of all the story stuff, I think it's good that it's not. Personally. They could, but they didn't. All these big things out to kill me. What were you saying before I got really interrupted by the fucking Leviathan? Uh, um, uh... Uh, I got a lull. Uh, I still don't, only if you already scanned the old people lol. I don't know if the game is... Okay, I'm on Xbox, substantial delay, yeah. That's a thing. Uh, thank you, a tone, a, a tan vario two. I butchered that shit. Sorry, totally butchered it. But thank you for following. I appreciate it. I let's head out in a different direction. Let's not go that way though. Let's head back out in this way because this way didn't kill me. I've been out in this way several times, but there's always every time I come out here, it seems like there's something else to explore. So. We shall see. And I imagine with uh, Sub-Zero, because... So I'm on Xbox One as well, I should clarify. Uh, Sub-Zero is not a thing on this, as far as I'm aware. But... But, I am... Curious. Because, like, obviously the temperature is going to have a big impact on Sub-Zero. Have I been to Pod 17? I have. I've been out here. Right? Double checking. Yes. Yes, I have. Welcome aboard, Captain. Look at these sea moth wrecks. Ow, ow. The hell? That was the fighters. Fucking hell. Thank you, Braden, for the 500 sparks. Uh... Yikes. Fucking reef backs. What is that? It's just a big rock? Or is that like a lead thing? I know I can't mine it. That's just a rock. Okay. I don't know, it kind of looks like fossilized dinosaur poo or something. It doesn't just look like a natural rock formation to me, but... I'm also crazy, so I don't know. Lots of salt, which I don't really need all of this salt, if I'm going to be honest, but... Okay, where's my ship part? Damn, everything good in this game is always fragments. Yeah. Pretty much. That and ores. You don't deserve all the salt you get. I really don't. Thank you, someone understands. Uh, let's put the sea glide. Can I remove something specific? No, I can't. So basically, I'm just forced to have the habitat builder in my hopper. Is what you're saying? There we go. Nope, still have it in my hopper. What, what the hell? Pair tool. Oh, good. Say. I still think you should have went into the void to see the friends down there. No. No. It, aren't they like ghost leviathans or something? I know they're unfriendly. That much I know for sure. Scan. And scan. They're 
cuddly. I don't know about that. They don't seem very cuddly to me. Something here is gonna attack me. It's gonna be fun times. I'm gonna punch it in the freaking throat. Or knife it may actually be more effective, but you know. Hey, that will poison me. Boy, those. Inventory full. Damn. I guess I don't really need all of that quartz, if I'm gonna be honest, but. Creature egg. Not really sure what those are for. Other than probably to plant at some point, right? I'm gonna assume. my power looking still 84% mm. do you think I've been here it all kind of looks familiar. Does this? Have I been to this one? Well, no, if the door's open. The door's not open. But it's also only 98 meters underground, and I don't have my laser cutter. Is this the same one that I've been to before, and I'm like, I need to bring my laser cutter back here, but then I never do it? Have you self scanned? I am still infected. That has not changed. Hello, Leaf back. Definitely feel safe with you around. I don't know why. Oh. Volcanic activity. Actually... Don't I have that new suit on? I do. Let's test it out. Let's see, will I die? Uh, yeah, I'm still dying, but... I guess that's kind of to be expected. Definitely die a lot slower, though. That's okay. I haven't been to this one yet either. Let's head back. I need to grab my laser cutter. Okay. We need to head back, grab my laser cutter. Maybe the propulsion cannon, but I don't know if I need it, per se. Ethan really wants me to grab it. I am directly about 400 meters out from the prawn. Okay. I can remember that. Straight direction. Once I get back, I'll know exactly which way to head. Use it to mess around with stuff. I guess. I could. Ow. Oh, I got back real quick. Damn. That's actually really close to me. Ah, damn. Thought maybe I could do it. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's unload. Everything. Which, actually, I don't have much on me that I can't unload. Put these metal salvages into titanium. Titanium. 
Ugh, okay. Coolio. And we'll dump out this storage as well. I almost walked into the water there. It's fine. All's well. And battery should be full. I love how things work even when I'm not there. Unlike Minecraft, we have to. It's like a chunk radius thing. Like, there's no chunk radius in this. Things just happen. And I love it. Like, while I'm gone, I'm producing more water. And it's incredible. I don't even need another one. Probably not. Because I'm just going to have so many of these ones. It's crazy. It's freaking awesome. Okay, we'll use a med kit. Why not? And then... Cool. Should I move... How's the storage on the prawn? So I guess I could move the storage from the prawn temporarily, right? Onto the... Let's do it. The hell, right? Might as well. Now we got two storages. We have one right there as well. Okay, let's head back. So, about, what was it, 400 meters? 500 meters? Just in this direction. Pretty much straight. And I could get out and repair if I wanted to a little bit. 400, okay. I was just going to keep going until I found it. About 400 meters from the prawn. And uh, it was in like that red biome. No, wait. I can't remember. I'll find it. It's okay. Once I get into like caves and shit. Uh, okay, I went too far. Apparently. That's radiation. Okay, well, wasn't there. Around here somewhere. What's this? Oh, that's more radiation. Let's not go over there. The hell is... What the hell is... Am I close to the... Oh. Yeah, I guess I'm kind of close to it. Yeah, never mind. Apparently I lost it. I don't know how that happened. 400 meters. You went the wrong way from it. No, I went the right way. That's not the original way I explored, but... Whatever. Whatever. Is this the first one that I saw? No, I've been to this one now. I went the opposite way. What do you mean? I came right up on the side of the thing. I got stuck in the scanner room. Or the room with the battery charger and my storage in it. I I'm I went the right way. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. You can fix the rads. What's the rads? Like I okay. It's rad. That's what it is. Captain. Radiation. Oh, I can fix the radiation. I just thought I had to wear the suit. Hmm. Well, it was this way. Pretty much directly, right? Apparently it wasn't. I must have moved. I didn't go in the straight line.
No, you can stop the leak. No, I know I can stop the video. Well, I didn't know that, but I know what you're talking about. I just don't know how, but I'll... I guess I could go and figure it out. If I really wanted to. I feel like it was further than 400. Was it not? Because this is, like, 500 here. And... Whatever, I'll find it. Because this looks familiar. It's around here. This is all new, though. This is cool. And you know what? It's funny, because I didn't even grab the laser cutter, so... Yeah, that, that might have been a good idea, eh? Should have done that. Going back! God damn it! I went back, dumped off everything, and then just came back out again. Hell yeah, man, I'm losing my mind. I'm gonna find it too on my way back, guarantee. Hmm. Is this it here? No. Right? No. No, that wasn't it. I've been there a hundred times. That's not the one I was looking at. Even then, most of the wrecks aren't even like that useful because I've been to so many of them already. It's mostly just the same shit over and over. Best streamer, 10 out of 10. Look. Look. Y you came here well knowing that, hey, I'm here to screw up while I play games. It's like, it's like a trend. Of what I... It's just what I do. Okay? Let's, uh... Put on the radiation gear. And I can go and figure out the leak shit that Frayden is talking about. So obviously I need the radiation gear. In order to get in there and stop it, but... You know. Leave the reinforced stuff here. And then I also need the laser cutter. Bring tools. I'm bringing tools. Hell, I'm even gonna charge these before I go. Watch. It's gonna be great. No, oh, fucking hell. Come on. I'm gonna bring all of my tools. Every single tool that I have. Except for the stasis rifle, because I don't have that. I haven't unlocked, but I haven't built it. Probably because I... I don't know why I haven't built it, actually. Maybe there's something I'm missing. I should actually throw these in the charger, right? There we go. Honestly, you only really need one of these things. Pretty much has you covered. You need the right tools. Well, what else do I need? I got all the tools I could need. I Do I need a habitat builder? I think I got one of those, too. Yep, it's right there. I got everything I need. Or everything I have. Maybe I don't have it unlocked, but we can go and see. Where am I going? I'm assuming I'm going to the... The ship? The Aurora? Welder or repair? I have a repair. I don't even... I haven't seen a welding tool. I've kind of gathered, too, that the map is somewhere around, like, a thousand meters in a radius around the beginning area. That's all the help you get. Okay. Go into the ship. Okay. Going into ship. Hey, actually, I think I might already know where exactly I need to go. There's that big room that I found last time that didn't have anything in it. That might be important, right? Also, I don't know. Really, I have no idea. I'm just gonna go to the ship. Is there another entrance in the back? 
Was it only the ones in the front? I also know there's a Leviathan creeping around here, so I'll be careful. Like, look at all this wreckage. Just random shit. I kind of just want to take all of it. Did I empty the... I guess I didn't really fill it though, right? Leave the salt. I don't need it. All of this though? Yup. And yeah, definitely gonna keep the sea moth away from the beach this time. Gonna do that. It's gonna be... gonna be good. See if there's an entrance in the back. Maybe there was something else I missed. Oh, you can't see shit back here. Oh, except for that thing. Get this off. Do it. Face of maneuvers. Fuck you! Pretty sure there's two ways in. Well, I know- well, yeah, there's two ways in, but it, again, it's at the front. I'll just head to the front, that's what I know. No point in making this difficult for myself. Dude, I haven't been down there either. I bet you there's some good shit around here. I feel like if I came over here early game, this would have been a hell of a lot more useful for me. Instead, I kind of just was scared to come over here. So I didn't. Like, what's that? Looks useful. Maybe I should scan it. Oh, look. It's nothing. Well, at least I tried. You kind of just didn't do anything, really. Uh, wrong. I was learning. So... Screw you. You ran around. I did do that. I was scared. I am- I'm still scared. But now I have more confidence. Because I'm understanding things. I was running around getting food, trying to find certain ores to build specific things. I was learning, Ethan. Lay off! It's okay. I have to get this. It's fine. We all make mistakes. Like me. I'm really stupid most of the time. Right now. What the fuck am I doing here? I explore everything first. Well, that's nice, Ethan. Yeah, I'm... I'm not you. I can't do that. Okie dokie. So... There's that door, and then there's the door up. This takes me... I forget actually where this takes me. Ah, yes. Now I remember. Can I open that door? Probably not, right? I'm gonna assume you can't. Also, I remembered that there are leeches here. So I should have this knife in my hotbar. Uh, and also I should put the flashlight back in my hotbar. There's just so many things I need in my hotbar. Uh, so I need to find like a reactor core or something. Probably just gonna walk right by it. This is a code. Ah, I missed that the first time. Do I have a code for this? Hold on. Uh... Hey, shut up! Stop it! <laughs> I just whine. It goes away, don't worry. It's fine. Advanced theories... Uh... 
Uh, travel package. Data downloads, probably, right? Codes and clues. Alien facility locations. High security terminal captain's quarters. 2679. Lab access. If you need to tweak your equipment, please use the mod station in the forward section. Uh, that's new. 6483. Let's try that. Six, four, eight, three. I did good. Go up. Well, I haven't been in here yet. I want to know what this is. Apparently, I didn't explore all of this. New PDA data. Data bank corruption was detected on your PDA. Your technology oh. blueprints have been updated. Well, most of this seems useless. I don't know what I got out of that. Oh, I've been in here though. Cool. Go up. I've been up. This is up. Wait for another door. Okay, so what did I get out of that? Exactly. I'm sure this is just painful for you, Braden, watching me struggle. Uh, what can we learn from the hive mind of Shatter 6? Higher up door. Oh, okay, I'll go up there, yeah. We define only by their traits and find blah 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 Okay. Okay, you want me to use the gravity gun, Ethan? You want me to use the gravity gun? All it does is pull, by the way, just so you know. Oh, yeah, I guess I can throw stuff too. Yeah, there's also the repulsion cannon, which is more like a thunder gun. Uh, yeah. I, I do. I don't have the right stuff to upgrade it yet, though. Alright, I'll head to the upper door. Thank God for the voices in my head, eh? I'd be so screwed without them. There's a lot of crabs here. Yeah. They, they fear me though, don't worry. Ow. Hey. I was, guys, piss off. I was just telling the voices in my head that you fear me and then you go and bite me. Jackass. Okay. We go over here. And over here. Oh. Okay. Better? Did you like that? <laughs> okay, there you go. Now, now he's happy. Okay. I've been here. Uh, I'm assuming I go to Cargo. Because that doesn't seem as useful. I've been in there several times. Don't know what it's used for. I mean, it is useful, but... I don't think there's anything else in there that's useful. I'm sure I missed something. I mean, this ship's huge. There's a lot to take in. Like this room. What did I miss in... Okay, stop it. What did I miss in this room? Ow. 
Apparently not much. Oh. Water. Cool. And... Wall water. Pick up the boxes to find the secret ending. Probably. Okay, uh... Drive room. What's that? No. Get off. A bleeder. Seamoth Bay Drive Room. Have I been here? Looks familiar. No signal. Check data cable. That's a laser cutter. Am I... Oh! Didn't try that! Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Should have did this uh, last time. I, I wandered around this room. I was like, man, this place is fucked up. Like, that sucks. Can I fix those too? No. Okay, so it's just all the, the stuff on the... The stuff underwater too? Yeah. Okay, cool. Come on. Maybe I should have brought another battery for this thing. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Get off me. I'm just going to go through each pillar one by one. Containment breach repaired. Breach repaired. Breaches Further detected. breaches detected. It said six? It did say a number there? I wasn't really looking at it. If it said a number, that's going to be helpful. Yeah, five. Okay. Okay. There's a number. That's going to be good. I can actually see most of them right here. Nah, I'll be good. Four. Fuck you. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Now what will happen? Radiation levels decreasing. Drive core breach sealed. Radiation oh, levels decreasing. That's an achievement. Extinction evolved. Repair the Aurora reactor. Still no signal. Cool. That's good though. Wait, does it work now? Well, not the ship. But now there's not a radiation site around everything. Ethan's like, can we fly it now? It's like, yeah, Ethan, it's only on fire. It's fine. Oh boy. I love how it's called Eat My Meat, by the way. Solid work. Water, Jace. Ah, uh, what's this? Why is it full? What, what is it? It's nothing apparently. It doesn't exist.
I barely have seen any land. Wait, what are you talking about? Did I say something that mention water? Or the land or something? I forget already. Read my text. Wait, does it work now? Water, Jace. This planet is filled with water. I barely have seen any land. Read my text. I fixed it. What do you mean? We should live on land. Can I didn't build stuff on land? Why would I want to live on land? I can't dock anything on land. No. I'm not gonna live on land. That'd be stupid. I move slower on the land though. Quicker in the water. There's no reason to live in the, in the land. On the land. Ethan, I'm doing this for you. Just so you know. Where'd you go? See, now they're scared. Scared of me. Where'd they go? Okay. No. Never mind. wanted to find one, but... Yeah, sorry. Hey, let me... I'll head up. I'll, I'll, I'll head right up, just to do it. And I'll see if I can find one. There's one. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, yep. Okay. So, if I took... Oh, well. I mean, there's still radiation. But, <laughs> is, I'm assuming it's reduced? So, if I go, like, a little bit further away from the ship... I'm here. Still radiation. Again, I am right next to it, though. It will start to disappear over time. Oh, okay. Why don't you explore more, Jace? Because... What do you mean, explore more? I need to dump some stuff out of my inventory. Explore the void? No, let's not do that. Uh, uh, you know what? Executive decision over here. Void is bad. Should not do that. And since I'm the guy who controls the character, uh, we're not doing that. Because that'd be death. I don't want to die. If I can help it. Void good. What what's in the void? What's there? Nice friends? Yeah. There's nice friends in the void, they're gonna wait for me. They're cuddly, apparently. Friendly. Why why the hell am I even here then? Shouldn't I just be in the void? The void takes up ninety five percent of the end. Yeah, the void also kills you in Minecraft though. Seventy five. Oh, did I say 95? I bet. 75. They give good hugs. They do give good hugs. Probably. I have to assume they do. I haven't... I don't know for sure, but... I don't know. Shulkers aren't very nice in the end either, so... 
I love how Ethan's just ghost leviathans. Yeah, I, mean, I knew that. The writer told me. He's like, yeah, if you go off the side of the map, there's these big scary things that come after you. They're called, like, ghost leviathans or something. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Way to ruin the fun. I Well, yeah, I mean... You know, whatever. I knew, though... No, what do you mean? Apparently they're cuddly. That's what I've been told. So, I don't know. I'm not a good pet. I mean, it's all about training, you know? Like, if you can train them to be your friends, then they will be. Right? That's how it works. Uh, thank you, Silent Brothers, uh, for following. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Dude, every time I come back here, it's just like, two more waters. Thank you. Awesome. Don't even need a second one. When I first made it, I thought, you know, I might need a second one. But now it's like, no, definitely, definitely do not. Do not need more. We good. Thank you. I should actually, I don't know. Uh, I'll bring the laser cutter with me, actually, to explore. Because I, I could run into another wreck and I'll need it. Propulsion cannon doesn't seem quite as useful. A bit if you feed a, a bit like if you feed a reaper a peeper. I'm uh, I'm new to this game. I'm gonna a reaper is those are stalkers. Which one's the reaper? I met those yet? It sounds familiar. Oh, Reapers are those big, uh, like, red and white, or red and yellow, whatever color. Leviathans that guard the Aurora, right? What just happened to that Peeper? Just, like, despawned right in front of me. Okay. Cool. Big things by the ship. Big scary things by the sounds of it. Cure peepers. And then we're gonna head back out. Because Ethan really wants us to. And there's no other reason. Totally not. He's just like, yo, we gotta go. And I'm like, okay. Wait, I do? You said to explore more. Is that not what you meant? He's like, oh yeah, I forgot I asked that. Okay, I mean, okay, radiation field, we'll just say it's gonna go down over time. That, that's cool. We're gonna go this way. Actually, we're gonna go find the other Vex that we tried to find earlier. By the way, this is what my streams are like, but I live in the void. Oh. How, how does that go for you? Are they as cuddly as I've heard? I've heard that the the things are quite cuddly. The uh, what are they called? The big scary things, the ghost leviathans. That's what they're called, ghost leviathans. Is this the one that I was looking at? It is, right? Can I just go right in here? No, that's not a door I can open. Shame. True shame. Much shame, many wow. This, on the other hand, is a door I can open. All it needs is a little push. It's dangerous, but fun. That sounds interesting. <laughs> I don't really know how else to word that. <laughs> interesting? Yeah. Probably the best way. Here we go. 100. Water. Uh, have I been in this one? Wait. Oh, they all kind of just 
jumble together after a while, you know? The cuttlefish is cuddly. There's a cuttlefish? I want a cuttlefish. Wait, maybe I have been it. No, nope, no, nope, apparently, apparently not. Modification station fragment. I don't think I've been to this specific one, but I've been to ones like it. I think it's what's happening here. It's the issue with the Vex now. I'm kind of at the point where not all of them, but most of them are more or less useless. Just imagine those ghost, ghostly boys uh, in real life. Oh, yeah. No, I haven't ran into one yet. I'm hoping to not to do that anytime soon. What's my inventory looking like? So pretty good, actually, surprisingly. Fill it up with titanium. If we get something new, awesome. If not, not gonna say no to titanium. I really wish I came to this one earlier on. I feel like I've been saying that a lot, though. Like, look at all these fragments here. So many. We can throw all of this stuff into one of the storages. I don't know if I may actually have too much here. Oh, perfect amount. Nice. Okay. We'll drink a disinfected water and eat a peeper and keep exploring. So it is... Uh, we'll go this way. What's this? get distracted by everything. It's fine. I'm like a child. Is this another entrance to that mushroom forest? Uh, you can find its eggs in five locations. One is... What? What eggs? Oh! That's like an actual cuttlefish? Or... I don't know. Something. I can actually come down here now, right? Because I have the depth for it. I do! I can! Look at this. That's so amazing. I'm so oh, that's not amazing. That's a volcano. This is one of those Tagazi thingamadoo echoes. With nothing here, I believe, right? Cool. Not much down here, from what I've gathered. In much of anything, actually. Other than... I can go inside of these things and there's eggs. Wow. I don't know. Let's just head back out. What was the exit? Is over here? Third one is in the big tree in the south mushroom forest. Yeah, I don't even... I'm assuming they're the big scary ghost monsters. Uh, I don't think I'm there yet. not that scary. No, it's it's not that. I just I'm still understanding basic components of this game. <laughs> I don't know if you understand exactly where I am on this. Still figuring shit out. Let alone raising a fucking killer 
fish. How to train your dragon. I'm not there yet. Or how to train your subnautica dragon or your phantasmagnosis. You know what I was going for. It's fine. It hasn't been here yet. Uh, the Gauzy crew? Oh. Close to a decade ago, the Toggles were a resourceful and powerful clan in the shadow. Took me 15 days to understand what to do. Yeah, we'll say I, uh, I've been doing it for 15 days. Well, we'll go with that. Granted, I've been playing it every day, but yeah. But I, I also haven't been googling anything really. I, I've looked up a couple things just to kind of help me progress because I try to do it by myself and I have no fucking clue. So I just Google like non-spoiler stuff to try and help, like give me a little nudge. But beyond that, uh, what I know of the game is that, yeah, there's some sort of infection. I gotta find a way to cure somehow. And then there is a, once I do that, I can cure myself at the, the giant tower, which that I actually figured out on stream, but that's okay. And then uh, I can build a rocket ship and escape the planet and live. I know that's, like, the premise. But... Beyond that, when I first jumped in, that was pretty much all I knew. So, put that in mind. I was like, there's underwater shit. There's a mech suit. A tiny submarine and a big-ass submarine. I didn't know what they were called at the time, but now I know it's a sea moth, the prawn suit, and the cyclops. Which I don't have the Cyclops yet, but I do know it's a thing. And then the Neptune, I think, is the name of the spaceship, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I just... Like, I... Super new, so... It's fine. Let's actually, uh... Put those off. We'll repair real quick. But, uh, I've been having fun with it, so... Not really all that matters. What the hell is killing me right now? Something in the water attacking me. Rocket is Neptune. That was a uh, butchered spelling a little bit there, but I, I got it. I was confused on what to do. Yeah, that's kind of my... That's where I'm at. I got the basics. But, uh... Yeah, everything else I've gotten little nudges on here and there to help me along the way. Oh, I'm actually close. Ah! Ah! Holy shit! I didn't even see... Oh, okay. Oh... It's not gone. It's not gone. I thought it was gone. Oh, that's scared. I know. I know what that is. I just. Oh, man. That's. I, I was like, man, I'm kind of close to the back of the ship. Maybe I should turn around in case of that Reaper thing. And then all of a sudden. Wah! That's what I was going to say, anyway. In case of that thing shows up. Because I knew it. I knew it just chills back there. Oh, fuck. Every time. God damn it. Whew. Okay. Wow. Yeah. It gave me a heart attack. <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh. Holy shit. Wow. Whew. 
Okay, we're good. All's well. Wow. Got lots of titanium on this trip, at least. Never say no to more titanium. That's for sure. Especially when I don't have a ton of it right now. So. That's always good. Well, my storage is all f are full, so I'm gonna have to do it. I have to double back soon. It's just a door in the sand. Okay. Uh, thank you, CG514 or 514. I don't know what you prefer, but thank you for following. Greatly appreciated. I'm following because of that. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me, dude. Oh man. Oh no. Okay. But, okay. Those things I'm not as scared of. The stalkers. I have one v one those things with my knife. It's fine. I had to go there for Cyclops engine and I crap my pants. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, more titanium. What is laser cutter? Cool. I was gonna say stasis rifle, but it's fine. Same thing. Well, it's not, but... You know what I mean. They look similar. Um... Probably should wrap this episode soon. It's ten minutes or so. Gotta head out. Ow. I almost fell out of my chair. Dude, that... <laughs> oh, every time. Every time it gets ya. I don't know how they do it. After this, I'm gonna have to go back and just find that clip and listen to it again. Download the, uh, the thing. That scared the bejeebus out of me. Okay, this one I've been to. Yeah, okay, I was just here. Let's keep going this way. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. I'm just kind of heading in a direction. Like, what's chilling over here? I don't know. Let's figure it out. That's a bone shark, I think, is what it's called. What's this? You know them? Is that what it is? It's a bone shark? I've scanned stuff. I'm not... I've scanned some stuff. Anyway. Where am I right now? Is this the void? Dude, I can't even tell anymore. No. No, this is a... Entrance to a scary place. I know this place. I've been here. The agent floaters. Other spooky things. I don't think I have the depth to go all the way down there. Not with this, anyway. If I had the, uh, prawn, I could, but... Then I get stuck down there. That's the issue with the prawn. I always find myself getting stuck. Or, you know, it just takes ages to get out of the situation. God damn, Jace, I was in a match and you made me jump out of my chair. <laughs> what are you playing? Oh, World of Warships. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man. That's good. Devs know how to scare us. Dude, that... I don't know how... Fuck. Like, even I was going down uh, 500 meters and I ran to that Degazi habitat when I was exploring that. This was a couple episodes ago. There was that big, like, brain... I don't know what it was. Like a crab jellyfish or something. And it had, like, an EMP blast. I forget exactly what it was called. But, uh... It scared the shit out of me. I don't know why that thing scared the shit out of me. Looking back at it, I just... The second time I ran into it, I just punched it in the throat with my prawn suit and it pissed right off. So... I figured that out. I'm like, oh, you can just punch things and they go away. Cool. I'll remember that. Just lead? That's lithium. That's slightly more disappointing. But, not gonna say no to crab squid. That's what it's called. Yes, I've heard that. Braden told me that. Braden is the arbiter, by the way. He's my. Certified guide, I suppose, through this. Um, 
I guess. He's just a friend who kind of knows some more shit about this game than I do. Uh, and he's been helpful. On several occasions. And then I have other people who pop in. And they uh, they don't know as much. They have kind of in the same boat as me. And it's it's kind of fun to explore that with people who don't know what's going on either. Because they're kind of like Andy, for example. My buddy Andy when he was in the stream. Oh, Cyclops Hall. That seems important. Yeah, got the Cyclops Hall. You're in the South Mushroom Forest and ahead... Oh, with ten Reapers. That's good to know. You can tell by the drop with sand. And I'll learn from him and you. Yeah, dude, I, I don't know. I'm just here to figure out the game, do my little let's play, having fun with it. When I first booted it up and did my first... So, so like, okay, I've been saying this pretty much every episode, but... Um, because I have people like come and go and they pop in for the episode and then I never see them again. There's been a few where like they'll pop in and then they come back and it's cool. But anyway, uh, when I first booted up this game and I was exploring, I was like, damn, you know, being lost at sea is probably one of my worst fears in real life. So being lost at sea on an alien planet is probably like, uh, you know, amplifying that by like a million. So <laughs> I was like, we might continue this game? I don't know, I might get like PTSD or something. But, uh, no, so far I've been good. It's not like a... It's not like a actual, like, fear fear where... It's not like a phobia or anything. Like, water is not like a phobia of mine. I, I do swim, like, I like swimming, but... I haven't deep swam before or anything in real life, so... Who knows, maybe I'm terrified of it. But being lost at sea? I mean, how could you not be scared of that scenario, right? Like, I don't know, I'd fucking die instantaneously. I have zero survival skills, to be honest, so. Yep, pretty much, I'd die. Maybe I'd be able to fish something, but I'm not really much of a fisherman either, so. Probably die. Pretty quickly. I feel like the only thing I might have an advantage in is to know, hey, maybe I shouldn't eat that specific berry. That could fucking kill me. Like, I have some common sense that way, but... I mean, most people do. But yeah, I I literally, when I got out of the life pod for the first time, I just looked around and I was like, yeah, uh, this is terrifying. <laughs> Nor does my cat know how to fish. Fishing is a great way to pass time. It is. It is. I, um, well, like up at the cottage and everything, I... I fished when I was younger, but I just never got into it. And even to this day, I'm like, I mean, I'll do it, but I'd rather do just about anything else. I'm like, when I'm up there, I'd rather go swimming or tubing or, uh, you know, drink or, like, play a game or read even. Like, I'm more of that kind of guy. Fuck, I'd rather go hiking, if I'm going to be honest. Although fishing, I guess it is calming, so... Actually, that's a lie. I'd rather fish than go hiking. I'm not... I don't know if you met me. I'm not super <laughs> active. Although, it's kind of nice, too. I don't know. I'm back, and there's more water. If I'm correct. Even more water. All the water I could ever need. Honestly, I, I may get to the point where I can't drink the water fast enough. Is that going to be a problem? I didn't think I'd have this issue. I'm just gonna drink that real quick. There's just nothing like drinking some beers while fishing. That's true. Maybe I should, maybe now that I'm older and I'd actually drink beer while fishing, maybe I'll enjoy it more. <laughs> maybe that's the trick, right? I don't know. I don't know, man. Every time we go up though, my sister, she just, she'll fish constantly. She loves it. I can't do it. I just get bored. Ryder does it too, but... Um, yeah, Cassie will just do it all day. A game that I play a lot of up at the cottage is Risk. Like the board game. Lots of fun. 
Although, like, don't get me wrong, I'm up at the cottage, I'm at the lake, I'm having fun and everything, but when it's night, and there's not much else to do. My first experience with this game was when I went in the water and I immediately said that, yep, I'm totally gonna die. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty much everyone's first experience. Um, it was the exploding fish. That was like one of the first things, the, the little, the, the creeper fish is what I like to call them, because they remind me of the creepers from, from the Minecrafts. But, uh, but yeah, the things that just scream and then explode, those things scare the fuck out of me. And now I'm looking back at it, I'm like, yeah, they're basically, like, nothing compared to some of the other shit in this game that's, like, ten times scarier. So that's good. Okay, so I can actually take off the lead stuff now, right? Wait. I just went that entire time without winning anything? Oh, boy. Good job, Jace. Oh, the crash fish. That's what they're called. Thank you. Alrighty. I'm gonna wrap up the stream. I gotta head out. And, uh, Brayden, in terms of Stardew, I will be on. It will be a thing. I, I will be here. But I gotta dip out for, like, half an hour or so. Pick up some groceries and, uh, get Ryder. But... It's good, uh, good. The hell is that? Is that something hitting my base? Oh. Alrighty, well, uh, I will head out. Because. Is there something over here? If you guys want to see more of this, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're watching on YouTube, because all of this will go up on YouTube after the fact. Um, and if you're watching live, uh, stay tuned. I don't know. Uh, I, I tend to stream about, I want to say, at least one of these a week is what I try to go for. Lately, it's been more than that because I've been available more. Basically, when I'm around and I feel like hopping on, I'll stream it. Not a huge schedule to it, though. Usually, it's around this time, though. And in terms of Eastern Standard Time, it's usually around somewhere between noon and four is when I try and stream. Whether it will be this, or it could be Project Aquatic, or some other game. Or well, Project Aquatic is Minecraft, I should specify if you if you didn't know, it's our Minecraft server. But, or, uh, of course, there is some um, other games I've been looking into streaming as well, so we'll see. Um, what the future holds. Could be Apex Legends as well. Play a lot of that. I just don't stream a lot of it. But, uh, yeah. It's gonna be all. See you guys next time. Peace out.